evolution and journey of TSJ Blast Furnaces the beginning, Jamsheji Nusawanji Tata's vision of setting up India's first steel plant and his elder son, Sir Dorabji Tata's perseverance led to the founding of Tata Iron and Steel Company, Tisco, on August 26, 1907. Procurement of raw materials is the first step in setting up a steel plant. The raw material for the steel plant in Jamshedpur was initially sourced. Iron ore from Mayurbhanj coal, from Jaria limestone, from Jukehi. The coke plant, consisting of 180 copy non-by-product ovens, divided into two batteries of 90 ovens each, was completed and began operating on September 12, 1911. Initial production was 500 tons of coke per day, which was then considered adequate for feeding 250 ton per day blast furnaces. The installation had a coal service bunker of 2,000 ton capacity in the middle. Since its inception, iron and limestone were fed directly into the blast furnaces along with coke until the ore crushing and sinter plant was commissioned in 1958. Germans were involved in steel making in those days whereas Americans were employed in blast furnaces. Commencement of operations. The plant commenced operation in 1911 when blast furnace A, the first of its kind in India, was blown in on December 2nd. The blowing in of a blast furnace of Tata Steel in Jamshedpur revolutionized iron making in India. After one year of operation, blast furnace B was commissioned on December 21, 1912. The first steel production ingot was rolled out on February 12, 1912. The blast furnaces A and B were built, each with a hearth diameter of 3.65 meters, 12 feet, and a rated capacity of 350 tons per day. The entire equipment, including refractories, was imported to operate the furnaces. Cowper design hot blast stoves with Kennedy checkers were installed to provide the necessary hot blast to the furnaces. The materials were charged by steam-driven skip hoists. The original capacity of the plant was 1,60,000 tons of pig iron. The first expansion scheme, 1916. The first expansion scheme, the Greater Extension Scheme, was sanctioned by the shareholders on December 12, 1916, and confirmed at the meeting on January 11, 1917. The scheme had a two-fold objective to raise the production to 5 lakh tons, to diversify the product mix with the change in market demand. During the expansion period, three blast furnaces were commissioned. E Blast Furnace in 1919, D Blast Furnace in 1922, C Blast Furnace in 1924. The C and D Blast Furnaces had a rated capacity of 600 tons per day, while the E Blast Furnace was a second-hand blast furnace with a rated capacity of 0.1 million tons per annum. During 1919 to 1924, Tata Steel exported 24,000 tons of pig iron to Japan annually. Expansion towards 2 million ton program, TMP. In 1929, a blast furnace was shut down because of the worldwide slump. Later in 1936, when trade conditions improved, a decision was made to build a bigger furnace with a rated capacity of 1,000 tons per day. Hence, a blast furnace was upgraded to meet the demand. The provision for cleaning ferromanganese gas from the e-blast furnace was made. In 1954, the d-blast furnace was also enhanced and modernized, similar to the a-blast furnace, with additional service facilities. Ingersoll Rand turbo blower was installed in powerhouse number one for supplying blast to the modified A blast furnace. The rated daily capacity of the five blast furnaces in existence before TMP was 4,200 tons per day. Two million ton expansion program, the target to produce six million tons of steel ingot per annum in India, made it obligatory for the company to expand its existing facilities and production. Tata Steel, was permitted to undertake a 2 million ton expansion project. The F-Blast furnace was commissioned in 1958 with an initial rated capacity of 0.6 million tons per annum to accommodate increased steel production. One of the world's largest and most modern furnaces, 
It was well equipped with modern facilities like an electrically operated heavy duty mud gun, three cinder notches, a salamander notch, and a remote controlled electrically operated tap hole. The blowing in ceremony of Blast Furnace F was regarded as the christening of the two million program. Later, the ore crushing and sinter plant was established in 1958. Its capacity was 10,000 metric tons of ore per day. In 1961 to 62, wet screening facilities were introduced in the ore crushing and screening plant to avoid screen blinding. Tata Steel's 2 million ton expansion program was the largest project in the private sector, which began in 1955 and was completed in 1958. Period between 1960 to 1980. In July 1961, Tata Steel obtained an industrial license for setting up an alloy steel plant, a new 1.37 million tons per annum. Sinter plant SP2 was set up to raise the total Sinter production to 2.5 million tons per annum. Sinter increased in blast furnaces to around 65%. A coke oven battery with 54 ovens using stamp charging technology was established to produce coke of internationally acceptable quality. Stamp charging led to superior coke strength after reaction and higher bulk density. Waste recovery was introduced with a 1 million tons per annum waste recycling plant set up to recover metals from the plant. The operations remained unchanged until the company attained a 3 million ton production capacity in 1995. In the mid-70s, it was realized that coke quality was hindering the blast furnace's performance. Coking coal was imported from Australia to overcome this challenge and stamp charging technology was introduced in the coke plant. Two decades of modernization. The modernization program at Tata Steel was initiated in four phases between 1980 and 1999. The program focused on achieving breakthroughs in quality and productivity through modernizing the existing steel making facilities. There was a radical technological shift in the steel making process, open hearth to LD, the first of its kind introduced in India. During modernization, Tata Steel's annual crude steel capacity was 3 million tons per annum. In iron making, new modern facilities were installed a raw material bedding and blending yard, a new 1.37 million tons per annum sinter plant, and a 54 oven coke battery. 1 million ton per annum capacity. G. Blast furnace was commissioned on November 18, 1992. Later, the capacity was increased to 2 million tons per annum. The blast furnace had some distinctive features like bell-less top, non-drainable trough, slag granulation, soft water cooling circuit. Technological advancements were introduced, such as pneumatic drill machines, powerful electromagnetic mud guns, and hydraulic mud guns, electronic load cells for batching raw materials, and lights and digital set point guidance for the charging car Larry car operators were commissioned at all blast furnaces. Commissioning of H and I blast furnace. Tata Steel's production capacity significantly increased after 2000. The plant's capacity in 2005 was 5 million tons per annum, which increased to 6.8 million tons per annum in 2008 and further enhanced to 9.7 million tons per annum in 2013. To meet such demand, H and I blast furnaces were installed within a gap of five years. H Blast Furnace H Blast Furnace started its operations in May 2008 with a rated capacity of 2.5 million tons per annum, further enhanced to 3 million tons per annum. Some significant characteristics of the Blast Furnace were inner volume, 3,814 cubic meters, working volume, 3,230 cubic meters, number of tiers, 34, number of tap holes, 4, Average hot metal production, 7,150 tons per day. Maximum hot metal production, 7,850 tons per day. 
I Blast Furnace. I Blast Furnace was blown in on April 4, 2012, with a rated capacity of 3.05 million tons per annum. Some of the salient features of the Blast Furnace were an environment-friendly furnace with a green cover on all three sides, west, north, and east. Fuel efficiency, initial volume, 3,814 cubic meters. Average hot metal production, 8,700 tons per day.